Hello students, today we are going to solve an important problem from circles. So let us start. This is the question. Show that four common tangents can be drawn for the circles given by. So this is the first circle and this is the second circle. We need to find out the internal and as well as the external centers of similitude. So there are two circles. We need to find out the internal and external centers of similitude and also we need to show that four common tangents can be drawn. Okay. So let us start. Let us write given circles. So what are the circles? x square plus y square minus 14x plus 6y plus 33 is equals to 0. And the another circle is x square plus y square plus 30x minus 2y plus 1 is equals to 0. Now let us find out the centers. But before starting the solution, I want to say you that important point here is to find out whether the whether we can write or draw four common tangents that means c1 at c2 the distance between c1 and c2 should be greater than the r1 plus r2 that means the distance between the two centers should be more than the sum of their radius okay so let us find out the center we know that the center formula is 2g by minus 2 so what is the value of 2g minus 14 by minus 2 and 6 by minus 2 so minus minus cancel two ones are two sevens are two ones are two threes are so c1 is equals to seven comma minus three next c2 so c2 is 30 by minus two and minus two by minus two two ones are two fifteens are minus minus cancel two ones are two ones are so it is minus fifteen comma one so c2 let us find out the radius so r1 is equals to under root of so for finding the radius formula is under root of g square plus f square minus c c is the constant so this formula we are going to use what is g g is 7 so 7 square plus minus 3 square minus c c is 33 r1 is equals to the root of 7 square is 49 3 square is 9 minus 33 so r1 is equals to 49 plus 9 is 58 minus 33 so r1 is equals to 8 minus 3 is 5 and 5 minus 3 is 2 square root of 25 is 5 so r1 is 5 let us find out r2 g square is minus 15 square plus 1 square minus constant minus this in square the minus becomes plus so 15 square and 1 square is 1 plus 1 minus 1 cancel so square root cancel r2 is equals to 15 now we are having r1 and r2 and c1 and c2 let us find out the distance between c1 and c2 so c1 c2 is equals to so the distance formula is under root of x2 minus x1 whole square x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square so c1 c2 is equals to so what is x2 let this be x1 y1 and x2 y2 so what is x2 minus 15 minus x1 is 7 whole square plus y2 is 1 minus y1 is minus 3 c1 c2 minus 15 minus 7 is 22 minus 22 square 
plus minus into minus plus 1 plus 3 is 4 square c1 c2 is equals to 22 square is 484 plus 4 square is 16 so c1 c2 we can write 484 plus 16 is 500 we can write this as 100 into 5 so the square root of 100 is 10 root 5 so 10 root 5 value is 2.236 when we multiply this we will get 22.36 okay so c1 c2 is 22.36 let us add R1 and R2. So R1 plus R2 is equals to 5 plus 15. That is 20. So which is greater C1, C2 or R1 plus R2. So C1, C2 is greater than since C1, C2 is greater than R1 plus R2. So therefore, 4 common tangents can be drawn four common tangents can be drawn let us draw the diagram So this there will be two, two circles. These are the two centers. So the these lines are the direct common tangents and which are slant are transverse common tangents. So the point where the transfer common tangents are meeting, this is our internal center of similitude. Internal center of similitude and the point outside where the two direct common tangents are meeting is called external center of similitude. So let us solve this. To find out the internal center of similitude, let P be the internal center of similitude. So let P be the center of similitude. So P divides divides the line segment C1, C2. C1 and C2, the line passing through the C1 and C2 in the ratio R1 is to R2. So R1 is 5 and R2 is 15. R2 is 15. So 5 ones are 5, 3 is up. So R1 is 2, R2 is 1 is to 3. 1 is to 3. So this will be our M and N and we know the formula if any line is divided inter internally then we will write the formula Mx2 plus Nx1 by M1 M plus N Myy2 plus Ny1 by M plus N. So what is M? m is 1 n is 3 by 1 plus 3 1 y 2 3 1 plus 3 so let us write the value of uh, x1 y1 x2 y2 so that is x2 is minus 15 x1 is 7 uh, y2 is 1 and y1 is minus 3 is equals to 
माइनस फिफ्टीन वन झा मायनस फिफ्टीन थ्री सेवन झा ट्वेंटी वन बाय वन प्लस थ्री फोर अँड वन वन झा वन थ्री थ्री झा नाईन बाय फोर सो दिस विल बी इफ यू सबट्रॅक्ट ट्वेंटी वन इफ यू सबट्रॅक्ट फिफ्टीन फ्रॉम ट्वेंटी वन वी विल गेट सिक्स बाय फोर अँड वन फ्रॉम नाईन एट बाय फोर सो टू टू झा टू थ्री झा फोर वन झा फोर टू झा इज इक्वल्स टू थ्री बाय टू कॉमा मायनस टू दिस इज द इंटरनल सेंटर ऑफ सिम्प्लिट्यूड लेट अस फाइंड आउट द एक्सटर्नल सेंटर ऑफ सिम्प्लिट्यूड फॉर दॅट लेट अस टेक लेट एस बी द एक्सटर्नल सेंटर ऑफ सिम्प्लिट्यूड सो एक्सटर्नल सेंटर ऑफ सिम्प्लिट्यूड इज एस एस डिवाइड्स द लाईन सेगमेंट सी वन सी टू एक्सटर्नली इन द रेशियो इन द रेशियो आर वन इज टू आर टू आर वन इज टू आर टू दट इज वन इज टू थ्री नाव यू नीड टू रिमेंबर दॅट हिअर वी आर डिवायडिंग एक्सटर्नली सो एक्सटर्नल एक्सटर्नल मीन्स द फॉर्म्युला विल चेंज दॅट मीन्स वी विल गेट मायनस इन प्लेस ऑफ प्लस सो लेट अस राईट एस इज इक्वल्स टू एम एक्स टू मायनस एन एन एक्स वन बाय एम मायनस एन एम वाय टू मायनस एन वाय वन बाय एम मायनस एन एम वॉट इज वॅल्यू ऑफ एम एम इज वन एन एन इज थ्री सो वन लेट इज राईट दिस फर्स्ट सो वन मायनस थ्री वन मायनस थ्री वॉट इज द वॅल्यू ऑफ एक्स वन एक्स टू एन एक्स वन मायनस फिफ्टीन सेवन मायनस फिफ्टीन सेवन नेक्स्ट इज वाय टू वन मायनस थ्री वन मायनस थ्री सो इट इज मायनस फिफ्टीन वन झा मायनस फिफ्टीन मायनस थ्री सेवन झा ट्वेंटी वन बाय मायनस टू नेक्स्ट इज वन वन झा वन मायनस इन टू मायनस प्लस थ्री थ्री झा नाईन बाय मायनस टू इज इक्वल्स टू मायनस फिफ्टीन मायनस ट्वेंटी वन इज मायनस थर्टी सिक्स बाय मायनस टू टेन बाय मायनस टू तर टू मायनस मायनस कॅन्सल टू वन झा टू एटीन झा टू वन झा टू फायव्ह सो वी हॅव गॉट द एक्सटर्नल सिम्प्लिट्यूड ॲज एटीन कॉम मायनस फायव्ह 